Merry Christmas, Jacqueline. I'm sending this book to you, but I thought you might like it if I read it to you. This is your Aunt Kathy, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Once upon a Christmas Eve, creatures were stirring all through the house. It was a little adobe house in the middle of a cactus forest, deep in the heart of the desert. The creatures who lived there were three little javelinas, wild, hairy, southwestern cousins of pigs. Feliz Navidad, they sang as they worked. Feliz Navidad. Santa's coming tonight, said the first little javelina, whose name was Juan. He was baking gingerbread javelinas. Yikes, said his brother Jose. That's spicy. Your cookies almost do backflips in my mouth, said their sister, Josefina. What's in them? My secret ingredient, said Juan. Meanwhile, cactus mice played iced tiny cookies. Striped crickets played deck the halls, while fuzzy spiders spun special holiday webs. Finally, everything was ready. With a splash of colors, peppermint, orange, plum, the desert sun went down. The wind blew icy cold. Way off in the distance, something howled. But indoors, everyone was warm and cozy. The crickets chirped out the nutcracker sweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. And Josefina twirled and twinkled through the dance of the sugar plum Harry. You see, Josefina was a prima ballerina javelina. Ole! cried the audience. Listen, said Juan. Was that a howl? That's just the wind, said Jose. Josefina peeped outside, but all she saw was night. I'm sleepy, uh, yawned Jose. Me too, said Juan. Me three, said Josefina. So they filled a plate with special spicy cookies for Santa. Next, each little javelina set a cowboy boot in front of the wood stove, and they all went to bed. The striped crickets played silent night. The mice fell asleep in their nests. The spiders curled up in their webs. And suddenly, way out in the desert, something clattered. The three javelinas opened their big brown eyes and twitched their hairy ears. Quick as three flashes, they sprang to the window. Bumpity bump through the cactus came a miniature wagon and eight tiny mule deer. The javelinas couldn't see the driver, but they heard his jolly voice. Now Bambi, now Buckeye, now Dusky and Don, on Chico, on Chulo, on Dolores and Fawn, he shouted. Get up, dash away all. Santa, cried the three javelinas. But instead of a swoosh, they heard a thunk. Chains clanked. The wagon stopped dead in its tracks. Fly, yelled the voice. Now it was not jolly at all, but the tiny mule deer just shook their antlers. Quickly, the voice changed again. It sounded sweeter than a candy cane. Fly. Take a break, my dearest little dear. Stay there and rest your tootsies. I'm going in. A strange shadow climbed through the javelina's pink snouts, right past their snouts. Surprising sounds came down from the tin roof. He, 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 we at last. He's here, whispered Juan. Shh, said Josefina. He's magic. Stay back. So they peeked around the corner, 
The wood stove door banged open and a cloud of ashes flew out. <laughs> Puff, said the cloud. I mean, ho, ho, ho. He was dressed in fur from head to foot. A big white beard hid most of his face, except for his nose, which was not like a cherry. It was pointed. Where's his bag of toys? whispered Jose. Why does he have claws? hissed Juan. Santa claws? gasped Josefina. His eyes! How they twinkled when he saw those super spicy gingerbread abalinas. Mmm, <laughs> piggies, he chuckled. Crunch, the secret ingredient exploded all over his tongue. It was chili pepper. What a noise came out of his mouth. Was it a shriek, a sneeze, a siren? No, it was all three at once. Oh, holy jalapenos, he screamed, and his beard flew off. He was Sly Coyote, and he was still hungry. Little pig, little pig, Coyote called out. Time for Din Din. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, shouted all three little javelinas. Juan ran, Jose hopped, and Josefina gracefully leaped away. Silly coyote, Josefina said. We're not pigs, we're javelinas. Crash, down came the Christmas tree. All the mice jumped out of bed and all the spiders stretched their legs. The crickets began to play. Do you hear what I hear? I think I'll eat you with red and green chili sauce, snarled Coyote, for Christmas. Yikes, cried Josefina, dangling from the piñata. Whack! The piñata shattered. Nuts and candy came tumbling down, and so did Josefina. But she landed perfectly on one tiny toe, and then Josefina began to spin and spin and spin Coyote's eyes went round and round and round. Juan tied him up with lots of ribbon. Jose taped his muzzle shut. Josefina held out the empty sack and Juan and Jose stuffed him inside. Finally, Josefina added a big shiny bow. Are your sleigh bells, cried Jose suddenly. Me too, said Juan. Me three, said Josefina. Bedtime, quick, sleep tight, Mr. Coyote. They woke up to a magical Christmas morning. A rare desert snowstorm had passed in the night, frosting the steep purple mountains and icing every cactus white. And playing in the snow outside, they found eight new friends. Inside, there was magic, too. Everything was tidy. Every crumb of gingerbread was gone. The striped crickets were playing, We wish you a Merry Christmas. The tree and the piñata were back in their places, and the three cowboy boots were bulging with presents. Feliz Navidad, said the three little javelinas. Happy javelinas, shouted the eight tiny mule deer who were invited to dinner along with everyone else. Just before they sat down to eat, Josefina opened the last present. Merry Christmas, squeaked Coyote in a sorry little voice. Merry Christmas, said Juan and Jose, but with their mouths full, it sounded more like, Merry Christmas. A very hairy Christmas to all, said Josefina Havelina, standing on tiptoe under the desert mistletoe. She gave Coyote a very hairy kiss. Coyote said, Oh.
And if you'd just been kissed by the sugar plum Harry, you'd say, Oh, two. Merry Christmas, Jacqueline.